G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. Now we're in the post install of Linux Mint 19. Um, so we've got the welcome screen up and we're just going to go through the welcome screen. So let's just have a quick look, uh, tells you what the system is. So first steps are system snapshots. Let's have a look. So uh, snapshots are created by creating copies of system files using rsync and hard linking unchanged files from previous snapshot. <clears throat> All files are copied when first snapshot is created. Subsequent snapshots are incremental. Unchanged files will be hard linked from the previous snapshot if available. Snapshots can be saved to any disk formatted with a Linux file system. Saving snapshots to non-system or external disks allows the system to be restored even if system disk is damaged or reformatted. Files and directories can be excluded to save disk space. So let's go next. Okay. So it's got a... Yep. Uh, I've got an external disk here. I'm going to use that. I've connected that on purpose. Let's go next. Um, I think weekly is sufficient, I believe. Keep three. I think that's how many snapshots it does. So Daly does five. Is that right? Let's go next. and finish. Time shift is active. Snapshots will be created at selected intervals. Okay, so that's that done. I don't know what happens when I take my disk off, I'm not really sure. So driver manager. don't think there should be uh, any drivers for this one. Microcode maybe, but I've noticed the Intel microcode doesn't come up anymore. Maybe it's um, in the kernel now, probably. I'm not sure about that. Update Manager Launch. This tool provides your operating system with software and security updates. Apply security updates to patch vulnerabilities and keep your computer safe. Software updates, apply software updates to fix bugs in your computer. System snapshots, set up system snapshots to protect yourself from mistakes and regressions. If anything breaks, simply restore the last snapshot. Okay, so that'll take you to the update. Okay, that's fine. Um, now it's got the mirrors. It didn't have the mirrors in the, uh, I'm pretty sure the mirrors didn't come up on on the beta, so it's good to see that come up. Uh, um, yeah, it didn't come up in the beta, I'm pretty sure. So that's good to see. Um, I don't use that either, wise. It's gone silly on me before, so I'll use the Rnet. Now, sometimes the internode is faster than the Rnet. It must depend on the time of day. IINet is my internet provider anyway. Inter oh, actually, Internode is. That's the fastest right now. That'll do. Internode is IINet anyway. All right, so that seems to be remaining on top. Let's click OK. Update the cache there. OK, that's done. Now we can apply the updates. The following packages will be installed. Yep, OK. I can hear my external hard drift. Uh -huh, hard drift. I can, <laughs> I can hear my external hard disk starting up. Maybe that's something to do with snapshots as soon as I did that. So that's interesting. OK, so. While that's doing that, we'll look at the rest of them. System settings. 
So that takes you to the system settings, which is the same as this one here. System settings, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the menu, tells you what it is. And the software manager, which is the same as clicking this one here, software manager. So the, um, is that still going? Uh, force quit on that one. Okay, so that's probably happened because I'm doing updates. Yep. So that is uh, what the um, Linux Mint welcome screen provides you with, the, the very basics to get yourself started. And... Uh, and that's quite good. It's um, a lot better than what it was in the previous. The old, it's a lot better. It's a, it's a better, a um, bit more streamlined than the previous welcome screen. So it's really good to see. You've got some documentation there. Linux Mint documentation consists of a collection of guides, PDFs, EPUBs and HTML and available in many languages. Click the button to discover new features and the release notes. So that's good too because um, sometimes new, well, definitely new people wouldn't know where to go um, for release notes more than likely. Um, new features, uh, well, I mean, sometimes I, I know where to find new features for Linux Mint. You can go either go to DistroWatch or go to the website, you'll find it, but that's just a handy link to have. Um, because it's good to know, especially if you're distro hopping like me, um, it's a quick uh, link there to new features so you can um, maybe show people the difference between um, previous and new um, uh, installs. So that, that's a good link there. The help button there, web forums and the IRC chat room, and of course a link to contribute. So that's the welcome screen. And the updates are still um, downloading. So uh, we'll come back when the updates are complete. So that's the updates complete. Um, so that's done. We're all up to date. We've got the green tick of approval down the bottom in the shield there. Um, I just want to have a look at my external just to see Okay, so I made a folder called Linux Mint Snapshot, but uh, it looks like uh, that's the one there. Okay, so there it is there. So we've got some snapshots happening there, daily, hourly, weekly. And we've got a snapshot there for today. Very nice. Okay, that's good. That's all working. So that's, um, that's post-install for Linux Mint 19. Hope you found it useful and informative and thanks for watching.